morning and welcome to another Glen Maney Talks Chelsea. Um, I'm out and about today. I went to the game yesterday and um, yeah, I'm, I'm slowly making my way home. Um, it's only down the road really. <laughs> but, but it was what it was. So yesterday it was Newcastle United nil, Chelsea 3. First half was probably... As poor a performance, although a good defensive performance, as I've seen from a Premiership side, Newcastle United are absolutely dire. Absolutely dire. It's defend, kick it long, and hope that, um, what's his name, St. Martin, gets on the... Uh, gets on the end of it absolutely shocking they are and i'll tell you what they can have all the money in the world but if they don't buy big in january they're going to go down they're going to be the richest club in the championship because they are as poor as uh, as poor as i've seen at least norwich have a go at least norwich you know try and have a go but newcastle that was uh, that was horrible to watch that first half couple of little bits of housekeeping I'm not gonna be um, posting these little um, these little vlogs on Facebook anymore it just takes too long so if you do like these please subscribe um, I'll still put a Twitter uh, announcement in but it's just going through you know and, and the other thing is the other day I did a, I did one about Rudiger and when you actually copy it from YouTube there isn't the rest of it there isn't the, the headline and that and I just copied it straight because I didn't have time and so I had uh, one administrator of a, of a group saying oh you know if you just want to if you're just doing it to get clicks blah 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 um, which annoyed me to be honest and uh, and I thought that's not the reason I do these vlogs I do these vlogs basically because I was in a pub before a Chelsea game, and um, and someone said to me, "You've got all the youngsters doing these um, these vlogs. I don't agree with them half the time. It'd be good to to have us lot have a place where we can we can chat about it. You know, some of the oldies. So that's why I do them. But uh, I thought, you know, the one time that I don't add all the titles on that. So uh, never mind. Uh, I don't blame the administrator because I wouldn't want." Um, people using me Chelsea groups just to ad advance their YouTube channels so please subscribe if you do like these because I won't be I won't be posting them uh, on Facebook it just takes too much time um, so yes uh, yesterday the lineup was Mendy in goal crikey I'll tell you what Mendy I, I bet he I bet he just put his suit straight on after the game he had one shot to save um, which was straight at him, very weak and, and straight at him. So, uh, yeah, Mendy in goal. At uh, left back, we had Chilwell. At right back, we had Rhys James. In the middle, we had um, Christensen, Silva and Rudiger. And in midfield, we had Kante and Jorginho just playing behind Ziyech, Callum hudson Adoy with Kai Havertz up front. Um, as I say, the first half, it's not even worth describing, us putting loads of pressure on, us getting a goal that was offside, disallowed, and um, and a lot of strange linesman's decisions. Um, not watched it on, on telly yet, but from where I was, it looked like we were given... An offside against us when we were attacking. When Kai Havertz was running backwards and the ball was played backwards. Now I don't know if the offside laws changed, but the ball always had to be played forward for there to be an offside. So uh, yeah, some strange lino decisions in that in that first half yesterday. Second half we come out. There'd been nothing wrong with our tempo in the first half. It's just the fact that they they just defended for their lives. A lot of dark arts. A lot of um, 
trips, pushes, time wasting. Um, just horrible to watch, really. Um, and then uh, second half, we had a bit more tempo. I don't know if Tuchu had a, a word with them or, uh, or not. I'm sure he did about just playing that ball quicker. And it worked. And, um, of course, Rhys James. Two of the best goals, cleanly cleanly hit goals, that I've seen in a long while. Jesus, that second one, he, he took the the net off. Um, it was uh, just a couple of really great finishes. And Jorginho penalty, we're used to him putting them away now. It looked to me like he stuck it straight down the middle. Um, but the keeper had already committed itself. And so it was 3 0. Um, when we brought our subs on, didn't really make that much of an impact. Game was over, really, by then, anyway. Um, um, we took um, Kante, um, CH, um, and, and Callum Hudson Adoy off and um, replaced them with Barkley, uh, Ruben Loftus Cheek, and very late on, Sol. Um, Right near the end, that was. So, uh, yeah, a good professional performance. We had to be patient, which we were, which is always a, a sign of a good potential championship winning side. We didn't react to the dark arts. We, uh, we, were, we were physical back, actually. It was nice to see. Obviously, you expect it from Rudiger and that, but... Uh, Havertz gave as good as he got yesterday. I think I think the Premiership is toughening him up. I thought he had a good game yesterday. So I'll go straight on to the scores. It won't be a long one because, to be honest, it was such a... Chelsea played well, but it was a poor, poor game. A poor game, really. Um, lucky there was two cracking goals in it because that made it worthwhile going. But other than that, it was... Uh, just knock on the door time. So Mendy in goal. Mendy gets a seven because, to be honest, I don't think he was even dirty. I don't think he even got dirty. Um, Rhys James is my man of the match. His defensive work was excellent. He got forward well and he took two beautiful, beautiful goals. He actually had another another shot as well that... Um, that uh, was, was pretty close. He, he, he was my man of match yesterday. I'm going to give Rhys James a 9.5. I think he's a quality, quality wing back. I really do. Um, Christensen didn't put a foot wrong. Um, I say they, they, our, our, our centre halves had to win a lot of ball in the air because that's all Newcastle do. They just, they just boot it. They're, they're midfield. Just. You know, they must have neck ache seeing it fly over them. So, uh, yeah, Christensen gets an eight. So does Silva, so does Rudiger. They did what they had to do. They won balls in the air. Rudiger particularly, driving forward. Um, Christensen did a couple of times as well. Silva pushing, pushing the, the back four up 20 yards so that we can try and have more... Um, players putting pressure on them because they were so deep. It was a good, a good all-round performance. Chilwell um, could have scored yesterday on the odd occasion that he had to do defensive work. He was there, but going forward, he was excellent. Always, always available. Um, I, I do like, I do like Chilwell. I make, uh, I make no bones about it. And then we've uh, in the middle, um, Kante, Kante done well. Um, couple of balls he gave away uncharacteristically early on but in overall play cutting space down it wasn't a real game for Kante because because um, his natural game wasn't needed because they weren't he didn't have to break anything down so I think he was a little bit redundant really um, but Kante yeah Kante is going to get a 7.5 from me a little bit lower than the others, just because he, he did give a couple of balls away early on. He wasn't up to his, as I say, it wasn't his game. As they say, styles make fights, so styles make matches as well, and performances. Jorginho, um, yeah, 
8.5, always available, took his penalty well, did the odd bit of defensive work you needed to do, but but good going forward. It a lot more forward balls yesterday. Nice to see uh nice to see that because it was needed. But yeah, Jorginho, good game. Callum Hudson Adoy, I thought was very, very good yesterday. Always a threat. Always taking on his man. And um yeah, just just very, very good. Um, put some blinding balls in um, that, that we were inches away from. Yeah, just always a threat. That's, that's what I want to see from Callum hudson Adoy. I want to see that performance replicated. Um, and also, when needed, I want to see him defending. He didn't have to do that yesterday, which is probably why he had such a good game. Ziyech... Did a few good things, but a lot of the balls he gave yesterday were wrongly weighted. Um, a couple of times we had the chance to put people in, and and he didn't. Uh, Zh gets a seven from me. He, he's he's a weird character. He's hard to score. He'll do something excellent, and then I should have scored yesterday. I know the ball come at him quick, but. He should have scored. He could have even chested that down and put it in. Um, he tried. He tried hitting it first time, and I think that's that's killed some seagull above uh, above the ground. And Havertz yesterday from me gets an 8.5. I thought he was superb. He gave as good as he got. Um, he made the run for the penalty. He ran all afternoon, dragging people around. Um, very often he was marked by two people. Skillful on the ball, good in the air. Just a, a good, good performance from Habits yesterday. And Tuchel obviously gets a 8.5 from me because he set up. He set up well. Obviously, with that amount of domination, I think we 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 ended up with 73% possession at one point during that. First half, I was told it was 86% possession. Um, so Tuchel obviously set up well. We won 3 0. With the results, the other results going the way they did, with Liverpool only drawing, could have got beat and all. And um, and uh, and City losing a good day. I know we shouldn't be looking at other people, it's what we do, but it was a it was a good day. I was watching Man United in the pub last night and there's a point there with Ronaldo tried toe punting it. It was the most lame thing I've ever seen. And the commentator was still raving. Still raving about it. I, I just... He's a great player, but some of these commentators are unbelievable. Uh, so United, yeah, they, uh, they beat the Spuds. Normally I would have been... I would have been happy, but I think I probably wanted a draw. I want them right out of it, just in case they get a proper manager. But like Tuchel says, it's what we do, not what others do. So in Tuchel, um, we trust. Right, that's all from me, folks. So um, do us a favour, subscribe to the channel if you want to carry on watching these. Because as I've said at the start, I won't be posting them uh, anymore on, uh, on Facebook. And um, thanks for watching. I, uh, I appreciate it. Let me know what you thought of the game. Um, let me know what other sort of non-match review videos you'd like to see. Or you'd like, you'd, or you'd like to discuss. And, um, and I'll see what I can do. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. Up to Chelsea.